Hi. All right, all right. Hello. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hello. You, are already, you guys Hello. are already the talk hey. of the Grammys. What bar are you in? Where are you guys? Uh, the dungeon. Undisclosed. A bomb <laughs> shelter. I think every month span is separate. I think every Mets fan is celebrating right now. So, so what, what happened no, with the, <laughs> what happened with that glitch before when you, did you not hear that you won? What happened with that before? We couldn't, yeah, the connection got cut. All we heard was the, the nominees and then we heard, say something. Yeah. The people at the Grammys were telling us to like speak, but we didn't know if they were talking to us. If we, you yeah. know, we didn't. We thought they were telling us to speak because we had won, but we didn't want to have that, you know, like Zoolander moment. Yeah. Confused idiot tries to steal a award <laughs> moment. Now, when you said that you won because of of name recognition, were you kidding? Were you joking? What were you talking about? No, I was talking about the name of the album. It's called the, the New Abnormal, and I said we could have won just based on the name. Well, congratulations, you guys! Like I said, you're already the talk of the Grammys. What do you have to say to all the Mets fans? Hey, Bo. <laughs> um, give up? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, Fab. What was your? You had always. Thing about the meaning of the song. Oh yeah, but that's a pretty long, windy thing. Do you have twenty minutes to discuss? <laughs> My dad phoned <laughs> his mom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, it was a short story. <laughs> no. Um, shout out to Norm Macdonald. Um, yeah. Uh, Can I ask you a question? Sure. What What do you mean by "we're the talk of the Grammys"? Because when you because when they announced that you won, it looked it looked like you, like you were a little blasé at first. It, it, we wasn't sure. Like, <laughs> no, we're very honored. We're very, very, very calculated. Honored. Like, these awards are meaningless. <laughs> Freedom for Ireland. <laughs> well, hopefully, we'll see you perform at City Field one day. That would be great. That would be great. City <laughs> Field. Thank you, Michelle. We're going to go ahead and do uh, Ethan from Rolling Stone. Yeah, hey guys, can you hear me? What happened? Hey. She just got... Oh, she went away. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> like, yeah. Well, um, first of all, congrats on your first win. Very exciting. Uh, how are you guys feeling about it? Great. Very good. Yeah. We're very happy. Well, what I wanted to ask, I mean, you know, given winning, you know, 20 years after your debut album and uh, just how music has shifted since then, what are your guys' thoughts on the state of rock and roll right now? And, the, you know, all of the talk people are talking about, you know, rock is dead, rock isn't dead, so on and so forth. What, what are you guys' thoughts on the conversation in light of just having won? You had something to say about it earlier. Um, I was... Well, I don't know actually what you're talking about, but um, I just think it's funny because I'm always, I always make fun of like rock and roll, like blues rock. And um, so I kind of always make fun of rock and roll. So I think it's funny that we won the award or cool or fitting. Um, I think that people who say things are dead, I just feel like it means that their imagination possibly has died. On, on the subject, because I mean, there's honestly, there's so there's room for so many genres in, in music, not necessarily blues rock, please no more of that, but um, just, you know, the future, all kinds of genres of music can, can blend in so many ways, and even just keys themselves, like singing styles or like different, like bending of notes. So there's all these like different ways, like you could sing like an Arabic song with country twang or vice versa, you know, there's just so much, room for stuff I realized the other day. But is a blues rock? Yeah, I don't know what that, I don't know what rock and roll means to answer <laughs> your question. What were you talking about? Well, that was good, that was very good. Yeah, I, I mean, if I could just ask one more quickly, I mean, I feel like people have always put blues and rock kind of the same conversation that rock always has that root to it. 
if it not that, like, what do you guys think the future of it would be? Like, where does rock, where should it go? Where do you think it's going if to deviate away from that? It doesn't matter where, where we think it, it should go. We should just listen to the new kids on the block, man. The band. Yeah. Uh, Wait to see. The original. Part of the, the new original. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I think so, like I said, Yes, right? Yeah, just let's just wait and see. <laughs> anything that's been kind of beaten to death, obviously, you know, trend dictates that those things will be extinct. So, you know, and, and you evolve from those things. But what that means, what it's called, I don't know, who knows what it'll be called. But um, I mean, Does it matter? Like, do, you, do you, what is it about the words rock and rock roll? Rock and roll should definitely stop. Yeah, like what <laughs> the way it was done in this I mean, that's, you know, we don't need more of that, right? Agreed. Yeah. They, they did it pretty well back then. 